Uh, today I'm going to be tying up a variation of an elk hair caddis. Um, this is going to be with a peacock body, a little CDC underwing. Um, fairly simple fly to tie. Um, so join me. Today in the vise I'm using a TMC 100. I'm tying this in the size 14. You can also tie these in 16s, 12s, some areas size 10s. I'm just using red A dot and um, lay down a nice little thread base here. Back to the hook point. Bring that thread back to the barb. And I'm using, um, I'm using olive small wire today. Tie that in and come back up to the front. For the body, I'm just using peacock curl. I'm gonna grab a couple of pieces of this. I'm gonna cut off the tips here. This stuff is super fragile. So I just cut those off. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and tie those in. Top right there and make my way back. This is probably one of the most productive trout flies ever uh, along with probably an Adams coming back up to the front tying all this in and I'm gonna leave myself a nice little space between the eye here because I'm gonna be tightening my wing there eventually all right I'm gonna take this peacock and I'm gonna counter wrap this with my wire so the peacock's easier I'm gonna be going under and away from me I'm using my rotary function here, just easier. Lays it down nice and neat. Coming up to the front. Right about there, I'm gonna go ahead and tie that in. Couple of nice strong wraps. Then I'm gonna take my wire and counter wrap this. You could glue the body down, put a little zap a gap underneath there or something if you wanted to. Um, with that counter wrap, it's pretty strong. Okay, a couple of nice wraps there, really get that wire in and helicopter that wire out of there. Next, I'm using some CDC. I'm using this duck gold, they call this. And I'm just taking two pieces. I'm hoping you can see those there. I'm matching up the tips. This is just gonna be a nice little underwing. Uh, I'm gonna come to a little over the hook bend. Right there looks pretty good. A couple pinching wraps right there. One and two. Cinch that in. That looks pretty good. Get in there nice and close. Turn that out of there. And then um, really lock this down. You can kind of manipulate that. I just pulled a little bit out, but just a slight underwing. That's all you need right there. Next, I'm taking some uh, L care. Um, I have this old piece that works okay for these kind of flies. I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. But I'm gonna take about, I don't know, half a pencil width. Just cut it out of there. Start pulling out all the old fibers while I got it here. Just kind of get all that out of there. Use an old hair stacker. Back that up. Once again, I'm gonna pull out any random fibers that I don't like. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I got a couple square ones there, just take those out and thin it out as well. Um, I'm gonna restack that. I'm 
it's cleaning up that wing. And um, I'm going to keep that wing a little over beyond the hook bend here. Right about there. What I like to do is I'll put, pinch it with my fingers and the hook. Come up right here. One solid clean cut. Give myself a little bit of thread to work with. Maybe more than that. Come up loose. One. Loose two. And then on the third, lift up and then start doing tighter turns and then pull down. Try not to break your thread. Look at that, that looks good. I'm gonna pull my head back so slightly. Couple wraps underneath there. And then I'm taking my old whip furniture and I will be doing a couple wraps underneath there too. Three, that's about it. Pull that tight, and this is the time to clean up anything that you don't like. Kind of adjust your fibers. Maybe move your head a little bit. But right there, that's looking pretty good. I like that you can see your little CDC underwing, peacock body. Um, nice little head there. I'm gonna be using some of this hardest hole penetrator. This really soaks in. I go right on the bottom here, good little dab. Really coat that. That will prevent, of course, the hair from slipping out, but it's also just going to keep that wing on top. If you got any fibers in there you don't like, you can pull them out, you can trim them out. But that right there is a little variation of a classic pattern, Elkhart Caddis. Uh, there's no hackle on this one. I'm using a little CDC underwing little peacock body, gives it a lot of flash, and um, scathe these, throw them in white water, you'd be surprised um, how many takes you'll get. And uh, yeah, tie a bunch up. Have a great day.